Hello everyone. Today I want to explain about the the conditions which are required for SN1 and SN2 reaction. In that one of the factor is solvent. So SN2 mechanism. In SN2 mechanism, what are the solvents are required? Polar aprotic solvents are required. What is the polar aprotic solvent? They have dipole moment something value. It means not equal to zero. But they do not donate the proton. Do not donate proton. They are called polar aprotic solvent. In SN1 mechanism, which type of solvents are required? Polar protic solvent. They are polar, it means mu not equal to zero and they will produce H plus and they will produce. So, but this is not like this, but this also one of the solvent which uh, utilized to ionize the alkyl halide. Therefore, keep in mind this is a special category here, e.g. NO3 aqueous. And remaining are water, alcohol, S, uh, carboxylic acid, alcohol one example here taken ethanol, carboxylic acid example taken acetic acid. Now come to the SN2 reaction DMSO. Mean what is the dimethyl sulfoxide? What is the meaning? Dimethyl sulfoxide. Next, DMF. DMF meaning what is that? Dimethyl formamide. Dimethyl formamide. Acetonitrile. This is it means methyl cyanide. One more bond. Forget here. Triple bond. Acetone. Next. These are methyl 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 methyl group. This is HMPA. Hexamethyl formamide. This is sorry, phosphoramide. Hexamethyl phosphoramide. So, this is I can write hexamethyl phosphoramide. So keep in mind the condition in the SN2 reaction no rearrangement and here rearrangement takes place in the SN1 reaction. No rearrangement takes place in the SN2 reaction. Next. Next one effect is substrate effect. This is in the substrate mean that is alkyl halide. First I am discussing about the SN2. So, SN2 reaction substrate effect ZCH2X. What is this Z? Z means any one electron withdrawing group, aldehyde, ketone, like this. Any one electron withdrawing group, these are. Like this, withdrawing groups are present, meaning then what will happen here? So, keep in mind if electron withdrawing groups are present, meaning this will be takes electron toward the Z. Then here at this carbon, electron deficient, more electrophilic character. Therefore, nucleophile easily attack at this carbon. That's why electron withdrawing groups are required and it should make more electrophilic nature at that carbon. This is anyway leaving group. X is a leaving group. Next one, what are there? This is benzyl halide, methyl halide. These are nearly equal. This is I am explaining this concept from the according to the Jerry Marsh book. And this one is what do you call allyl halide primary. Next, this is also primary, but this is alpha carbon, beta carbon, little two alkyl groups are the bulkiness increases so less reactive. And this is what do you call this is secondary it means r carbon r h x this is therefore it is secondary so its meaning r to mean two times 
keep in mind up to secondary alkyls are more reactive it means okay acceptable tertiary alkyl halide already in the previous video i explained that is not reactive are totally least reactive so total in this reactivity of substrate what you have to consider first of all the carbon should be more electrophilic nature required in case like this not their meaning is less hindered group required so this is a main criteria for the sn2 reaction but keep in mind these group you have to remember then only you will analyze which is more reactive which is less reactive concentrate these are the electron withdrawing groups next sn1 reaction substrate reactivity that is alkyl halide reactivity here already in previous video i explained that keep in mind rate of reaction rate is directly proportional to which one stability of carbocation now triphenyl alkyl halide is x leaves leaving group in a stable carbocation form then tertiary secondary now keep in mind if it is leave like this then what will happen here carbocation form this carbocation should be stabilized meaning a electron donor group required therefore this is electron donor group then here also electron donor group. more electron donor group more stabilized less electron donor group less stabilized so this is a more electron donor next sulfur next oxygen like this there are electron donor who stabilize that carbocation next one which one tertiary carbocation secondary carbocation both what is the mistake here this is primary only so reverse actually student right they forgot this one minute this is not like this this is reversal this is after this one this benzyl next allyl next tertiary then this is secondary then this is primary this is called like this group carbon halogen and this is ch2 at beta carbon we have bulkiness 3 so anyway primary type comes that's why less reactive so little mistake is it reverse order this is so orders are like this next in both SN1 SN2 cases, which are the least reactive vinyl alkyl halide? Now, again, reverse here. After this, this will be like this and like this, like this, or you can write like this equal. These three are totally least reactive. Which one? Vinyl alkyl halide and this vinyl halide aryl halide bridge head halide are least reactive reason if it is because post due to partial double bond character here this bond not easily break down here also due to partial double bond character not easily break down which one is sp2 hybridized this also sp2 hybridized if halogen bonded to spt sp2 hybridized carbon very least reactive here all are triple bond uh, single bonded this is sp3 only but after leaving this one whatever the carbocation form that is a planar planar is unstable at the bridge head carbon that's why because of planarity do not exist at the bridge head carbon so bridge head alkyl halides do not participate in the sn2 and sn1 reaction so keep in mind these three are least reactive for sn2 also 
and SN1 reaction also totally least least reactive otherwise not react also consider not react next one character is a nucleophile nucleophile meaning what is a electron rich this is electron rich electron rich group attack at electron deficient site that is called nucleophile base also electron rich but base and nucleophile difference you have to remember base is abstract the proton nucleophile attack at electron deficient site that is the difference so according to this nucleophile these are the order uh, alcohol water f minus r c o h c l minus r c o h r s h n s 3 r n s 2 b r minus and next r o minus r 3 n c n minus a triple bond triple bond this is i minus r s minus r n h 2 minus r 3 p so which are negative is there that are generally more electron donor it means stronger nucleophile that's why from here to here these are stronger and these are moderate moderate these are and these are poor nucleophile these are poor nucleophile or weak nucleophile keep in mind this you have to remember now the nucleophilic character in which solvent this is meaning this is according to polar protic solvent unless until mentioned in the question you have to keep in mind this is very important thing here now their nucleophilicity is changed depends upon which one solvent also that's why keep in mind this whatever order i given poor or weak moderate and strong in which solvent this is polar protic solvent respective unless until given you have to consider this is a polar protic solvent. very important very important very important because we know that these are h f h c l h b r h i strength of acid what happened up to hi increase weak acid gives a strong nucleophile then this is cl minus br minus i minus so this is a strong nucleophile this is which one weak nucleophile according to which one polar aprotic solvent but in polar protic solvent which is a stronger nucleophile this is strong this is weak so this question asked many time many time many time in the all competitive exam we have to focus on this this is in which one solvent polar aprotic solvent this is which one polar protic solvent which one this is a polar protic solvent in polar protic solvent order i am writing here polar protic solvent the nucleophilic order is f minus is less and cl minus less br minus and which is highest i minus that's why you can see here i minus is a stronger in the order is there compared with the f minus least is there in polar aprotic solvent polar aprotic solvent this order reverse therefore i minus br minus and cl minus ef minus so this order we have to copy in your notebook and repeatedly practice very important next leaving group leaving group which one type required which is easily leave from the substrate that type of leaving group required then how do we know that which is easily leave from the substrate one weak base is a good leaving group which is larger size also sometimes easy to understand purpose h minus 
CH3 minus NH2 minus OH minus RO minus F minus. These are four living group because, for example, if you consider this is CH4. In that one proton loss mean what is that? CH3 minus H plus. Then this is weak acid gives a strong base. Which one this is a strong base? We want which one a weak base. Those are strong acid, they weak they give which one a weak base that is weak conjugate base that is. Therefore, keep in mind their strength like this. What happened? Leaving group strength increases. So these are compulsory. You have to remember. Remember, most important. First of all, you have to focus on this one. Four leaving group because which of the following is least reactive comes meaning you have to mainly remember this NH2 for example R NH2 like this given mean this is poor leaving group in case R OH given mean this is poor leaving group in case any other R O R given also poor leaving group R F given also this leaving poor leaving group so these are least leaving group it will not that much re uh, used in the reaction then which are mostly used meaning uh, this these are only exam purpose you have to remember which is the good leaving group purpose not maximum attached to the alkyl group in your board level or computer level they will ask which is a good leaving group but mostly involve which one uh, chlorine bromine water iodine i minus like this and sometimes tso tfo en2 these are maximum cases we are using so here mention what is this mso meaning in case methyl is there methyl sulfoxide this is tso mean what is a para toluene sulfonate this is this is a sulfonate group. This is a para position. Then para methyl sulfonate. This is TFO mean trifluoromethyl sulfonate. This is TFO minus N2 is a most very good living group among all. And sometimes they will not use this one. Meaning you have to think this is F3C double bond O double bond O O minus is a super living group. SLG means super living group. Keep in mind, in maximum cases, in our all reaction, we are focusing on which one? I minus, very good living group. And one minute, we can write this is RCOO minus Cl minus Pr minus water and alcohol also sometimes and I minus mostly using and um, apart from this most of the cases sometimes use it with which one uh, TSO this is para toluene sulfonyl chloride sometimes they may write like this also PTSO para toluene sulfonyl if chlorine mean chloride something or sulfonate these are the good leaving group so overall that Competitive exam purpose, which of the good living group meaning it, these you have to remember. Otherwise, in the many reaction, used these are and these are. Keep in mind, these are totally poor living group, these are good living group. So, alcohol OH group is not good living group, that's why we are converting into water and we are eliminating that component. So, actually, this is handwritten notes, you feel that uh, it is somewhat messy type so each and every point i am clearly explaining this is useful for competitive level exam and for normal level student maybe not understood also because most of the point these are extracted from the very good books and properly given in the order and these orders you have to remember also because they come with the practice normally if you focus and reading like this mean not that much remember so every line whatever given here these are useful to solve the problems after knowing the all the concepts concepts of sn2 and sn1 now the we have to solve the some question 
increasing order of rate of reaction for SN2 reaction. Now here option A, B, C, D given. So our focus about the SN2 reaction when substrates are given mean we have to focus on which one. First, first thing is less substituted and the carbon which attack the nucleophile that should be more electrophilic nature. Anyway, Z groups are not the electron withdrawing group. Only living group is present. Mean we have to focus on which one now? Only thing on the primary or methyl like these groups are required. Now this is a primary, primary, tertiary, secondary. So our answer is not these two, A and B. Our focus on which one is C and D. In the C and D, which is normally less bulkier, D. So, D is the most reactive. After that, which one is C? Now, come to the tertiary and secondary. Secondary is somewhat better than the tertiary. And here, B, then A. So, like this order will ask in the competitive exam, most important thing. First one, basic level question taken. Second question. Now, here, option A, B, C, D. <coughs> Keep in mind. What type of uh, substrate required for us? The substrate of the living, the living group, the carbon should be more electrophilic nature required than only nucleophile attack. So all are having the same type, benzyl halide, but para position some substrates are attacked. So, according to this, this is an electron withdrawing group. This is also electron withdrawing group. This is electron donor group. Here, without. Then, if it is leave like this, then this carbon or partial carbocation, this is partial charge because not complete carbocation form here. So, electron withdraw meaning here, more positive charge increase at this. But compare with the NO2 group, Cl is a less electron withdrawing group. That's a less positive charge. So our focus on which one? D. D should be more reactive. After that, C because electron withdrawing group. This methyl group one is a donor. That's a least reactive. Therefore, without group is we have to consider. Therefore, B. Next, A. Then next. So here we have to focus on this our concept is very clearly mentioned this is very important to solve the SN2 reaction so this is a partial negative charge this is a positive charge so partial positive charge partial negative charge when the living group leave here this positive charge magnitude should be increased, then it is more reactive. When it is partial positive charge magnitude increase, then electron withdrawing groups are present. Now, I am taking one example here. What is the example? 1, A, B, C, D. Observe the example. Then here, no electron withdrawing group, nothing is there. Then we have to focus on this one. If it is leave, then what happened here? Carbocation form. If it is leave, then carbocation means partial charges are not complete because this is SN2 reaction, carbocation, complete carbocation not formed. Then if it is leave, partial positive charge. If it is leave, this is partial positive charge when nucleophile attack. Then according to this, we know that this is a aromatic atropelium cation form Aromatic is more stable carbocation, resonance stabilizer, so it is more uh, reactive than aromatic. Then, C also aromatic character, partial positive charge, but it is more resonance stabilizer, here less resonance stabilizer. So, more stable this is. And next one, this is anti-aromatic. Anti-aromatic is the least, least stable. Therefore, this is last. So, D, C, B, A. Next one. Fourth question. According to this fourth question, A, B, C, D. Observe this one. According to this, what is a, here? It's not C, S, D, C, H, 2. Carbon valence is 4, remember. Then it's a primary. 
and this is alpha carbon because leaving group next carbon alpha then this is a beta then this is which one allyl carbon this is because double bond next carbon is allyl and next it is a benzyl this is which one allyl and this is when it leave then here partial positive charge with the electron withdrawing group is present therefore this is a d will be the most reactive after that benzyl resonance stabilizer after that b that is called allyl that is also resonance stabilizer least one a so all are maximum i given d c b a for student understanding in the classroom purpose i mentioned but in examination not comes like this order always d c b a they may random come so one sequence i followed and maybe mention this is like this so then students will easy to remember purpose i given this is next one fifth question a b c d now keep in mind this is which one aryl halide due to partial double bond character sp2 hybridization this will not break easily therefore least and least reactive then b this alpha carbon then beta carbon beta carbon bulkiness increases therefore reactivity decrease now this which one primary this is methyl therefore least bulky group which one d therefore d first then c next b then least reactive a these are very important uh, objective type question and like this objective only present the all objective books therefore you have to prefer this examples now sixth like this one molecule mention in this this is a r it mean p q r es like this three four groups are one two three four alkyl groups are mentioned in the only one molecule then we have to this side which is more reactive side now keep in mind double bonded carbon attached leaving group in sp2 this is the least reactive next this is called which one type of vinyl type this is vinyl bromide this is which one carbon 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 and this one bridged one this is so bridge bromide is very very least reactive therefore p is the last then q now we have to focus this is leaving group leaving it next what is it electron withdrawing group is there therefore most reactive which one r another one which one here yes yes is what is there simply normal is there so that should not here reverse actually r should come first otherwise i'll write separate r first then yes then q then p that is a mistake maybe did here student because this bromide is just which one secondary this is yes is which one secondary type is there therefore most uh, electron withdrawing group present meaning that is a more reactive r is a more reactive then next seventh in this seventh question what is there a b c d now focus here somewhat randomly mention also here then according to this here we have halogen bonded to sp2 carbon vinyl group type this is here halogen bonded to sp3 carbon this is allyl mention here also halogen bonded to allyl but is alpha this is a beta beta position one substrate bulkiness is present then here forgot maybe then secondary given in this is called secondary alkyl uh, halide this is but double bond next is the mean this is all secondary vinyl this is vinyl group this is here also vinyl is there. totally we want which one less bulkier and more resonance stabilizer requirement which is their primary allyl 
alkyl that uh, sorry allyl halide that's why b first and c is allyl is there but beta position bulkiness increases that's why less after that a is vinyl primary vinyl type this is this secondary vinyl therefore secondary vinyl least react to d and then b c a d this is a perfect order next negatively charged nucleophiles are faster in reaction in sn2 reaction we are focusing which one that is negatively charged next in the first one methyl chloride methyl chloride same is there here nh2 minus this is this nh3 therefore which reaction faster what are the product form product same but this is a faster this is a slow reaction because negatively charged good nucleophile than the neutral second question reactant same is there here one is both are neutral now which is good nucleophile which is easily donate the electron that is a good nucleophile nitrogen more donor than the oxygen therefore this is a fast this is a slow next third one reactant same is there negatively both are negatively charged then which is a good nucleophile easily donor is a good nucleophile that's what is a fast nh2 is good donor than the oh minus therefore this fast this is a slow next one fourth one methyl chloride methyl 1m 1m concentration then here 1m 2m both are same nucleophile nh3 nh3 but what happened now concentration changed higher the concentration required for sn2 reaction therefore you have to check the strong nucleophile with the higher concentration of nucleophile required then here faster one this is next question fifth one here this is the living group msu already we studied in the living group msu minus living group same is there in the all the cases but here cl minus here br minus which is the good nucleophile here they mentioned solvent which which solvent this is polar protic solvent so what are the previously i mentioned that is polar protic solvent then br minus is a good nucleophile therefore this is slow this is moderate i minus is a fast a b c are there here that's why this is a fast three now sixth question alkyl halide same is there em ch3 o minus ch3 s minus both ch3 is there but o minus s minus s minus is a larger size good electron donor good nucleophile that's why faster one seventh one reactant same are there then here this is methoxide and this is tertiary butoxide and tertiary butoxide and is a bulky bulky base this is but not good nucleophile bulkier nucleophile it means that is actually considered as a base but nucleophile mean attack at the electron deficient so bulkier group less def, uh, less is attack at the electron deficient side therefore this reaction fast actually look like this is carbon 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 o minus according to inductive effect this more electron donor at more electron density at the oxygen so we will consider good nucleophile but due to bulkiness its nucleophilic nature what happened decreases keep in mind next eighth one question in this a b c d are there then alkyl halide leaving groups are different now base is same is there oh 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 then which is good leaving group already you studied leaving group which is a weak base so for example we know that hf strong acid weak acid weak acid weak acid gives which one a strong base conjugate base f minus so strong bases are not required for good leaving group weak bases are required therefore i minus is a good leaving group good leaving group therefore faster fast moderate slow like this they may ask which reaction faster in sn2 reaction next ninth question now we have here one 
सबस्ट्रेट या दिस इज एसिडिक हाइड्रोजन एंड दिस इज लिविंग ग्रुप वो हिच इज नॉट गुड लिविंग ग्रुप वी नो दैट सी एल इज गुड लिविंग ग्रुप इन केस सी एल इज लीव लाइक दिस एंड वो हिच अटैक एट दिस कार्बन देन दिस मे फॉर्म बिकॉज दिस वो हिच एज इट इज इज एर देन सी एल लीव हियर वो हिच अटैक दिस इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी बट हियर क्रास मोहर गिवन इन दिस प्रोडक्ट इज नॉट फॉर्म वाई नॉट मीन दिस इज वन दिस इज अनदर प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म when it leave like this this nucleophile not attack because internal nucleophile because this is here lone pairs are present on the oxygen here lone pair lone pair present acidic hydrogen mean h plus easily lost and this will be attack on this one internal nucleophile that is called neighboring group participation then what will happen like this ring form that is called uh, tetrahydrofuron form this is a major product major this is this is not form keep in mind same one here also what we are expecting here carbon count here 1 2 3 4 with oxygen five member ring form here how many member ring five member ring now i increased the carbon 1 2 3 4 5 with oxygen six member then we are expecting what is there here the product is we are expecting 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 then here oh 1 2 3 4 5 and if cl out mean here also oh we are expecting but this product is not formed already i mentioned but forgot to write this student then here a six membered ring is formed now 10th question this one is one chiral carbon this is then here also you will get a chiral carbon product if it is yes configuration then what you will get here r configuration you will get because in sn2 reaction which one product form inversion product form keep in mind br out then here oh attack but their configurations are changed here observe at dark line what is there ch3 is there but here dotted line what is there ch3 is there therefore configuration changed in the previous video i explained the exchange of any two group configuration change keep in mind 11th question in this a fisher projection structure is given when nucleophile attack then leaving group leave like this takes place or like this takes place not properly you can imagine in examination actually don't think if br leave mean oh minus attack from the back side you have to analyze its rs configuration for example this r mean the formed product should be s now keep in mind ch3 top ch3 top d down d down is there now when back side attack that is called sn2 reaction okay back side attack oh then h comes the front good but in case like this also may be mentioned mean this is also yes this is also yes is there no therefore you will confuse therefore in fisher projection given mean our motto should be how to answer based on the configuration keep in mind wedge dash also given mean there also our focus on which one configuration respective now next question 12th in this also fisher projection yes configuration here and here r configuration is there nucleophile attack meaning a where leaving group leave there will be configuration change so d the down part r r only is there then here yes is there mean here r will be come but this will be not form like this mentioned meaning configuration may change so which will be form you keep in mind configuration should be change configuration not change as it is is there meaning so here keep in mind here what is there br mean opposite direction oh attack then here oh form here h come but keep in mind down what is a d right side is there but d left side exchanged mean again configuration as it is not 
down configuration what happened yes and top configuration what also yes become which one r i actually should change which position the top carbon should only change but down carbon also changes that will not happen actually that's why this is b option not takes place only a option will be formed then 30th question 13th question here observe this is a chlorine leaving group leaving group meaning here oh nucleophile attack then this oh here form but keep in mind here yes configuration mean here also yes but in examination student will think actual actually we know that in sn2 reaction s is there in r configuration form that's why they will write r configuration but that carbon not undergo any change because here nucleophile uh, leaving group not there leaving group carbon this one therefore leaving group carbon which as comes a, as a normal because that is not chiral so where chiral is there their leaving group not there that's why s mean yes configuration r mean r configuration next 14th question now here we have the leaving group oh minus attack here then you will get one product but another product also may form because if it is like this then leaving group p are leaving here carbocation form allyl carbocation is resonance stabilizer therefore you will get another one here carbocation and here double bond then allyl is there mean compulsory two car uh, resonance stabilizer respect to product form keep in mind that formed product we have to analyze which is more stable based on the alpha hydrogen alpha hydrogen this is a double bonded carbon here two are there and here one is there therefore three hydrogen this double bonded carbon here two here two here two total six is there therefore this is a major product so generally everyone they will not think about the resonance stabilization directly bromine out oh in that product will take but you will not focus on the their resonance that's why all this at a time consumes somewhat difficult by practice you will get these concepts now which is the faster for sn2 reaction 15th question now here leaving group bromine leaving group bromine here down is a one bulky group is a tertiary butyl here top is a bulky group is there so when leaving group leaves then nucleophile attack from which side opposite then opposite direction only what is there bulky group is there therefore this is slower reaction leaving group leave like this mean then nucleophile attack from which one uh, opposite direction therefore this reaction faster now 16th question leaving group leave then here what is their partial carbocation form partial positive charge then this is electro negative then electron withdraw in more positive character more reactive and when it is away from the leaving group then here direct is there here one carbon gap is there here two carbon gap is there therefore less reactive for sn2 reaction so this is a order for sn2 reaction so here this video somewhat more lengthier that's why i want to stop here only next class i will discuss about the reactivity of sn1 but keep in mind after analyzing this 16th example any question given in the any objective exam you can easily answer that is my guarantee because these are the different way of questions present in the all the type of exam ct level neat level uh, that is called mz level j mains level different different type but these are once you understand mean not that much easy you have to practice a more number of question practice makes improvement not perfect that's why you have to focus on the solving more number of questions